Hello children, welcome to you all again today's English class. In the last class, we finished the first unit and today we are going to study, we are going to take a new chapter and the name of the chapter is the tsunami. It's a familiar word, isn't it? You might have heard this word before. You might have studied in your geography textbook what tsunamis are. Okay, so tsunami is a Japanese word and its meaning in Japanese language is harbor wave. The waves that come to seashore, harbor, harbor waves. That is the meaning in Japanese language for tsunami. And what are tsunamis? You may know. What is tsunami? Yes, tsunamis are very large and destructive waves that are caused by earthquakes or volcanic eruptions under the sea, in the seabed. So, the large waves, destructive waves, dangerous waves that come to the seashore, that is tsunami. It may be caused by, yes, earthquakes in the ocean or any volcanic eruptions in the ocean. So, that is tsunami. It may be, it will be very destructive ones. So, let us watch a short graphic video how these tsunamis are made. Ready? Yes, like I said earlier, these tsunamis can be very dangerous and hazardous. For example, the Indian Ocean tsunami that happened in 2004 December 6, the day after Christmas in the year 2004, a great tsunami hit many parts of Indian Ocean. So this tsunami was very destructive. Nearly 2,25 people were killed in that tsunami. 2,25,000 people were killed. So, it was a great natural disaster. And it hit mainly the countries Thailand, Indonesia, Sri Lanka and India. Especially in India, the Andaman Nicobar Islands and Tamil Nadu coast and in a little way, Kerala also, Kerala coast also affected. It was affected. It affected Kerala coast also. So today, we are going to study some real life stories from this tsunami, from this tragic incident. Okay, so let us go to the chapter. And before entering to the chapter, you can see in your textbook a map, a map of the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Andaman and Nicobar Islands are the Union Territory. Union Territory, you know? Yes. In India, there are some states and Union Territories. So, Andaman and Nicobar is a Union Territory. And it is a group of islands. Not only one island. It is a group of islands. Many islands. And here, like, let us see that map. Ready? Okay, now look at here. Look at the map of the Andaman and Nicobar Islands given here. 
so this is andaman and this is nicobar group of islands you can see here north andaman middle andaman lower andaman port blair andaman sea this is andaman sea and little andaman so these are the islands in andaman group of islands and here you can see nicobar group of islands Terasa, Kachal, Little Nicobar, Great Nicobar, and Nankauri. These are the, Ankar Nicobar are the islands in Nicobar group of islands. Now, after looking at this map, there is a, some questions given here. Now, read these sentences below. Rewrite the incorrect ones after correcting the mistakes. So, six sentences are given here. And some of them will be true and some of them will be false. Such type of activities you have... Uh, done in your school life so many times so first one kachal is an island kachal is an island is it true or false yes surely we saw here this is kachal okay so it is an island so it's a island so automatically this one is true you have to write this into notebook and the second one it is part of the andaman group of islands is it right Kachal is part of Andaman group of islands? No, it is here. It is part of the Nicobar group of islands, Kachal. So, this is false. Okay, so this is false. And right, uh, it is part of Nicobar group of islands. And the third question, Nankauri is an island in the Nicobar group. Where can we see Nankauri? Yes, it is here. It is in the Nicobar group of islands, so automatically this sentence is true, correct. Okay, so this is true. Next one, Kachal and Nankauri are more than a hundred miles apart. The distance between Kachal and Nankauri are more than a hundred miles. How can we measure that the distance between them? Is it uh, hundred miles apart or less than that distance? Yes, hint, the scale of the map is given. Map in the scale of the map is given. We have a map in the map. We have a map in the map. We have a map in the map. So, we have a map in the map. So, we have a map in the map. So, here is 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 the map. Islands in Tamil Nadu. Illa. It is very less here. Itre no distance. Ivada illa. Adu vanda thane. This sentence is false. Actually, thirteen point one mile. Itre e idhir andu Tamil Nadu la distance ullo. And the last one, the Andaman and Nicobar Islands are to the west of India. West of India. Andaman and Nicobar Islands are. To the west of India. Is it right? West Chano. I will show you a map of India. Look at here. Where is Andaman and Nicobar Islands? Yes, it is lying here. This is the mainland of India. This is Andaman and Nicobar. And you know the directions in a map. It is. You know the directions in a map. This is north, this is south, and this is east. And this is west, north, west, south and east. And Andaman is in the west of India. It is lying in the west of India. No, it is where it is in the east of India. So the correct answer is east of India. Okay, didn't you see? Yes. So this sentence is right? No, it is wrong. It is false. Andaman and Nicobar Islands are to the east of India, not to the west of India. The last sentence, the Nicobar Islands are to the north of the Andaman Islands. And Nicobar Islands are to the north of Andaman Islands. Is it right? No, I told you, in the map, this will be north and this will be the south. So, where the Nicobar Islands are lying? Yes, it is to the south of Andaman Islands. So, this one is also false. It is to the south of Andaman Islands, not to the north of Andaman Islands. Ready? So, this um, page we finished. Now, we can go to the chapter. Ready? Yes. Now, take the chapter in your textbook. 
I will read the chapter for you. Just listen carefully. The tsunami. A tsunami is a very large and powerful wave caused by earthquakes under the sea. On 26 December 2004, a tsunami hit Thailand and parts of India such as the Andaman and Nicobar Islands and the Tamil Nadu coast. Here are some stories of courage and survival. Did animals sense that a tsunami was coming? So, so stories suggest that they did. So, this is the introduction to the chapter. A tsunami, like this we discussed already, a tsunami is very large and powerful wave caused by earthquakes under the sea. And the biggest, the largest and the dangerous tsunami that hit in the history of the world was the Indian Ocean tsunami that happened, that hit on 26th December 2004, uh, 2004 and mainly it hit the countries like Thailand and parts of India. Not every part of India, some parts of India were affected, especially Andaman and Nicobar Islands and also Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu is the state that affected most by this tsunami, Tamil Nadu coast. And here in this story, sorry, in this chapter, we are going to study some stories, not a fiction, it is original stories, real life stories of courage and survival. Okay, so Daira Tindayim, Adubole, Abagatilanum, escape Chaita, survive Chaita Tindayim, stories on we are going to study. And did animals sense that a tsunami was coming? And the la this chapter has three parts. First part describes some incidents that happened in uh, Andaman and Nicobar Islands. And second part includes a story from Thailand. And the last part, tells us about the some special case of or the some special ability of animals. Did animals sense that a tsunami was coming? Can we humans sense that a tsunami is coming? No, it is very difficult for us human beings. We can't, mesh, we can't foretell that a, an earthquake is happening. We can't say that. We, ca we will know only after it happened. But some animals, they can sense that, yeah, a tsunami is coming. Before a many time, some examples are also given there in the third part. We can see that in the third part. So, some animals can sense that a tsunami was coming. Some stories suggest that they did and they escaped from that tsunami. Okay. Now, the first part. Okay, listen to the story. These stories are all from the Andaman and Nicobar Archipelago. So, the stories that we are going to study in this first part are happened in Andaman and Nicobar Archipelago. What is Archipelago? It is there in the side of your textbook. You can see there. Okay, so what is Archipelago? It is a group of islands. It is given here a group of many islands and the surrounding sea. A group of many islands. Andaman and Nicobar is an archipelago. Indonesia is an archipelago because it is combined by different islands. Not only one island. Indonesia is the is a country which comprises which includes many islands. So it is a archipelago. So that is archipelago. A group of many islands and the surrounding sea. So the first part. In the first part, we are going to see. Some stories that happen in the Andaman and Nicobar archipelago. So the first story is, who is the main character? Ignatius. It is a name. It is a Christian name. Ignatius. Ignatius was the manager of a cooperative society in Kachal. Don't you remember the name Kachal? Yes, it is a name of an island that is part of which group of islands? Andaman or Nicobar? Yes, Nicobar group of islands. Kachal is the part of Nicobar group of islands. And our Ignatius was a manager there in, the co in a cooperative society in this island. His wife woke him up at 6 a.m. His wife woke him up because she felt an earthquake. Because she felt that an earthquake happened. She felt that. Ignatius carefully took his television set off its table and put it down on the ground. So what did he do first? He went, his wife told him that 
he she sensed she felt an earthquake then he did he took the television set there was a television set on the table and he took an uh, the television set and set it off okay so uh, put it down on the ground he put the television set on the ground for what because in the shake it will fall and it will break so that's why he uh, put the television set on the ground so that it would not fall and break then the family rushed out of the house then all the family his family members everyone rushed out of the house they went out of the house when an earthquake is happening it is not safe to stay in indoor in your own home indoor the houses why because it will collapse so it is always safe to stay in an open place when an earthquake is happening so, so that is the first Uh, measurement that we have to do for our safety we have to run we have to go into an open space so they rushed out of the house when the tremor stopped and when the tremor what is tremor it is also given there in your text side of your text its meaning is tremor it is given there tremor means a slight shake a slight shake a small shake cheriyori alakkam adana tremor ennu pore earth tremors the earth shakes during an earthquake ennal earth tremor uddeshikkunnado അത് ഭൂമിക്കുലക്കം ഉണ്ടാകുന്ന സമയത്ത് ഒരു അർത്ത് കേക്ക് ഉണ്ടാകുന്ന സമയത്തുള്ള ഭൂമിയുടെ ഷെയ്ക്കിനെയാണ് ട്രമർ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് സോ ആ ട്രമർ അവസാനിച്ചപ്പോൾ വെൻ ദ ഷെയ്ക്സ് സ്റ്റോപ് ദേ സോ ദീ റൈസിങ് ദെൻ ദേ സോ ഐ സ്ട്രേഞ്ച് തിങ് ദ സീ ലെവൽ ഈസ് റൈസിങ് ഓട്ടോമാറ്റിക്കലി ദേ വിൽ ബി എ നാച്ചുറൽ ലെവൽ ഓഫ് ദ സീ ബട്ട് ഫ്രം ദാറ്റ് ലെവൽ ദ സീ വാസ് റൈറ്റ്സിങ് ഇൻ ടു ദ ലാൻഡ് ദ സീ വാസ് റൈസിങ് ഇൻ ദ ക്യാസ് ആൻഡ് കൺഫ്യൂഷൻ so they will be automatically what will be very frightened they will be afraid and in that chaos this is called this is read as chaos not chaos chaos and what is the meaning of the word chaos it is also there in your said chaos means complete disorder or confusion petta ningana oru karyam undavum nammal aage confusion la irikkum alle onda endha cheyanda ennu yadara idea undavilla so that type of feeling that is chaos complete disorder or confusion pronounced chaos okay so appa angane ulla a oru confusion il a chaos il two of his children this uh, person ignatius has five children he had five children and two of his children aa rendu makkalil rendu pere caught hold of the hands of their mother's father so ignatius tanichella thamasikunnathu he was living with his wife and his wife's father father in law wife's father and wife's brother bartavinte achanunde bartavinte sahodaranunde ignatiusum bariyum pin anju makkalum ee dada dana dehathinte family so adhethin rendu makkal endu cheyidu dehathinte aa father in lawude kai pidichu two of his children caught hold of the hands of their mother's father and mother's brother one caught hold of his uh, their grandfather the children caught hold of their grandfather and one caught hold of their uncle means ignatius a uh, wife's brother okay and rushed in the opposite direction they went they ran in the opposite direction were ignatius and wife ran ignatius and wife were dishile kodi ennal matte ullavaru odiyathu marath bhagathekkan he never saw them again he ignatius didn't see any of them including his wife okay his wife was also swept away his uh, wife swept away in the tsunami in the waves his uh, father in law his wife's father father in law and his uh, brother in law and his two children all of them were swept away in that great waves in the tsunami only the three other children who came with him were saved so the only members only persons survived were one was ignatius and the three children that who came with ignatius with him so what happened ignatius uh, ignatius wife her uh, father her brother and their two children all of them were swept away in the waves they lost their lives they didn't he didn't see them after that only ignatius and his three children survived so this is the first story of survival from andamar and nicobar islands so let's go to the next one next one is next story is sanjeev sanjeev was a policeman 
serving in the Quetzal island of the Nicobar group of islands. Sanji was also serving, the, he was also living as the police officer in the Quetzal island, which was part of Nicobar group of islands. He somehow managed to save himself, his wife and his baby daughter from the waves. So when the waves came, he somehow escaped. He somehow managed to escape. He, he was able to escape his wife and his baby daughter from the waves. There are three of them escaped from the waves. But then he heard cries for help from the wife of John, the guest house cook. Then what happened? He heard a cry, cry of help. Someone was crying, help me, help me. And who was crying? It was the wife of John. And who was wife? The guest house cook. Our guest house is a cook. I to work in the Victor and John. Adet in the Baria, our wave slippery, carry in the Dane, Amade, Sanji Vicator. So, but uh, Sanji jumped into the water to rescue her. Then, what did he do? He was safe. His wife and daughter were also safe. Then, he jumped into the water to save that woman from the waves. But they were both swept away. Then, unfortunately, Sanjeev and that woman, the wife of John, were swept away. Both of them were not seen after that. Okay, so only Sanjeev, uh, Sanjeev's wife and their daughter escaped. Sanjeev lost his life while trying to rescue someone. Sad it is, yes. So, that is the second story. And one more story from Andaman and Nicobar group of islands is given. 13 year old Mag Magna. Not only one more, two more uh, stories are there. 13 year old Magna was swept away along with her parents and 77 other people. So, Mag not only Magna, she, were, she was swept away in the waves and also her parents and other 77 people from her neighborhood also swept away in the, in the uh, waves. She spent two days floating in the sea, holding on to a wooden door. Then what happened? She didn't die. She didn't die. She could get hold of a wooden door. She could get hold of a wooden door. She spent two days the door and the floor is on the level of spend day day So, uh, 11 times she saw relief helicopters overhead. She, were, she was floating in the sea. Okay, in the middle of the sea. And when she was floating, she saw the relief helicopters. Don't you know what is relief helicopters? Yes, it is there in the side of your textbook. Relief helicopters means helicopters bringing help to people. Example during floods. Kerala survived two floods in the last two years. All of you know. And many helicopters were there to rescue the people from the, to airlift the people from the flooded areas. Really? Yes. That's it. That's Helicopters, relief helicopters. So, these relief helicopters are 11 times in the middle of But, but they did not see. She was brought to the shore by a wave. Then how did she escape? She was brought, she was uh, swept to the shore by a huge wave. She was brought to the shore by a huge wave. And was found walking on the seashore in a days. Then after that, she was found. Someone found her walking on the seashore in a daze. What is daze? In a shock, in a confusion. Atraim valiyaru tragedy a face edu vanna alana. Ayalda mental stability will be very instable. Alle? Avala aga shock dana. She lost her parents, she lost her dear ones and she was there. She was clutching on a wooden door for her life for two days in the Vast sea, vast ocean. So she was in a shock. Next, the next last story from Nicobar Islands was the story of Almas Javed. Almas Javed was 10 years old. She was a 10 years old girl. 
She was a student of Carmel Convent in Port Blair. Port Blair is the capital of Andaman. Okay. So she was studying which, in which school? What was the name of her school? Carmel Convent School. So she was studying there. In, uh, she was a student there. Where her father had a petrol pump. In Port Blair, her father had a petrol pump. Okay. Her mother Rahila's home was in Nankauri. So, her mother was from Nankauri in Nicobar group of island. They were staying in uh, Andaman group of island in Port Blair. Then, uh, they were, her mother's home is in Nicobar group of islands, Nankauri. Their family had gone there to celebrate Christmas. Then, all her family, she including her parents, came to Nyankauri for celebrating Christmas. We already told that it was the Christmas season. It is just after the day Christmas, the tsunami hit. So it's a Christmas vacation. They had gone to her mother's house in Nyankauri for celebrating Christmas. When the tremors came early in the morning, the family was sleeping. So the tremors, we already saw this word, the shivers, the shakes. So when the shakes came early in the morning, the family was sleeping. All of them were sleeping. Alma's father saw the seawater recede. Then Alma's father saw one thing. What did he see? He saw the seawater recede. We saw in that video. Before the giant waves coming to the shore, the sea will recede first. What is recede? So recede is here given. Move back from where it was. Nerate undai back out to move in recede in the Okay, so her father, when her father saw that, uh, the water received, water uh, going backwards, he understood that the water would come rushing back with a great force. So her father is an experienced one. He knew that, he knew when the water received from there, he knew that the water would come back with a great force. Poyadilum great force il water tiriga viruman adhyatan manasilai. He woke everyone up and tried to rush them to a safer place. So what did he do? He woke every members of the family and he rushed out for a safer place. For a, as distant from the uh, seashore. As they ran, her grandfather was hit on the head by something. So when they were running, her uh, grandfather's head was hit by something, some heavy thing, and he fell down. So uh, when he was hit on his head, he fell down. Her father rushed to help him. So when her grandfather uh, fell down, her father came to help him. Then came the first giant wave. Then the first giant wave came there, and that swept both of them away. So when her grandfather was running, he fell down and her uh, father came to save him from uh, getting up, for getting up. Then what happened? A great wave, a large wave came and both of them were swept away. Alma's mother, mother and aunts stood clinging to the leaves of a coconut tree. And Alma's mother and her aunts stood there. How? Clinging. Clinging means catching very tightly. Okay. Catching tightly. Holding tightly. So they stood there holding very tightly. What was the holding? To the leaves of a coconut tree. Tengola. Right? coconut tree the leaves like a Calling out to her. A wave uprooted the tree. Then what happened? A wave came and it uprooted the tree. Okay. It plucked the tree from its roots. And they too were washed away. Then what happened? For they too. Uh, her uh, auntie and mother also, aunties and mother also swept away in the, washed away in the waves, giant waves. Alma saw a log of wood. Then how did she escape? Then she saw a log of wood, a piece of wood she saw. Floating, it was floating in the waves, a large piece of wood. She climbed onto it. She climbed herself and uh, lay on that piece of wood. Fainted. Then she fainted. What is fainted? Lost consciousness. Fainted means lost consciousness. Bodham nashtapada. 
അവൾക്ക് ആദ്യമേ കിടന്ന് ബോധം നഷ്ടപ്പെട്ടു വെൻ ഷി വോക്ക് അപ്പ് ദെൻ വെൻ ഷി വോക്ക് അപ്പ് ഫ്രം ഹെർ ഫെയിൻനസ് ഷി വാസ് ഇൻ എ ഹോസ്പിറ്റൽ ഇൻ കമോർത്ത ഉണർന്നപ്പോൾ ആൾ അവളെ ഇവിടെ കണ്ടത് നമ്മൾ സിനിമയിലൊക്കെ കാണുന്ന പോലെ അല്ലേ ഒരു ഹോസ്പിറ്റലിൽ കിടക്കുകയാണ് ഫ്രം ദർ ഷി വാസ് ബ്രോട്ട് ടു പോർട്ട് ബ്ലെയർ അവിടെ നിന്നും അവളെ പോർട്ട് ബ്ലെയറിലേക്ക് കൊണ്ടുവന്നു ദ ലിറ്റിൽ ഗേൾ ഡസ് നോട്ട് വാണ്ട് ടു ടോക്ക് അബൌട്ട് ദ ഇൻസിഡൻറ്റ് വിത്ത് എനി വൺ ഷി ഡസൻ വാണ്ട് ടു ടോക്ക് അബൌട്ട് ദീസ് ട്രാജിക് ഇൻസിഡൻറ്റ് വിത്ത് എനി വൺ വൈ ഷി ലോസ്റ്റ് ഹെർ ഗ്രാൻഡ് ഫാദർ ഷി ലോസ്റ്റ് ഹെർ ഫാദർ ഷി ലോസ്റ്റ് ഹെർ മദർ ഹെർ ആൻഡീസ് എവ്രി വൺ ഹെർ കംപ്ലീറ്റ് ഫാമിലി വാസ് ഡിസ്ട്രോയ്ഡ് ഇൻ ദ സി വേവ്സ് ഇമാജിൻ ദാറ്റ് ഇൻ ഫ്രണ്ട് ഓഫ് ഹർ ഐസ് എവ്രി വൺ വാസ് സ്വെപ്റ്റ് എവേ എവ്രി വൺ വർ സ്വെപ്റ്റ് എവേ ഹൗ പതറ്റിക് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഇസ് ഇൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് യെസ് സോ ഷി ഈസ് സ്റ്റിൽ ട്രോമാറ്റൈസ്ഡ് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് വൈ സ്വന്തം കൺമുന്നിൽ ഇത്രയും വലിയ ഡേഞ്ചർ കണ്ടത് കൊണ്ട് തന്നെ ഷി ഈസ് സ്റ്റിൽ ട്രോമാറ്റൈസ്ഡ് വാട്ട് ഈസ് ട്രൊമാറ്റൈസ്ഡ് ട്രൊമാറ്റൈസ്ഡ് മീൻസ് ഗ്രേറ്റ്ലി ഷോക്ക്ഡ് ആൻഡ് ഡിസ്ട്രസ്റ്റ് അല്ലേ അതിയായി ഷോക്ക്ഡ് ആണ് ഇപ്പോഴും ആ കുട്ടിയുടെ ആ മനസ്സ് ഷോക്ക്ഡ് ആണ് സോ ദീസ് ആർ ദ സ്റ്റോറീസ് ദാറ്റ് വി ക്യാൻ സി വി ക്യാൻ വി ഹാവ് ടു സ്റ്റഡി ടുഡേ സോ ഹൗ മെനി സ്റ്റോറീസ് വി സ്റ്റഡീഡ് ദ സ്റ്റോറി ഓഫ് ഇഗ്നേഷ്യസ് ഹി എസ്കേപ്ഡ് ഓക്കെ ആൻഡ് ദ സ്റ്റോറി ഓഫ് സഞ്ജീവ് ഡിഡ് ഹി എസ്കേപ്പ് നോ സഞ്ജീവ് സ്വെപ്റ്റ് എവേ ഇൻ ദ സി സി വേവ്സ് വൈൽ ട്രൈങ് ടു റെസ്ക്യൂ എ ലേഡി ആൻഡ് വി സ്റ്റഡീഡ് ദ സ്റ്റോറി ഓഫ് മേഗ്ന ആൻഡ് ലാസ്റ്റ് വി സ്റ്റഡീഡ് ദ സ്റ്റോറി ഓഫ് അൽമാസ് ഓക്കെ സോ ദീസ് ആർ ദ സ്റ്റോറീസ് ഇറ്റ്സ് വെരി സിമ്പിൾ ചാപ്റ്റർ യു ജസ്റ്റ് റീഡ് ഇറ്റ് വൺ ഓർ ടു ടൈംസ് ദൻ യു വിൽ അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് ഷുവർലി ആൻഡ് സം ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് ആർ ആൾസോ ഗിവൺ ദർ ആസ് കോംപ്രിഹെൻഷൻ ചെക്ക് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് വെരി ഈസി ടു ഡു കൻ വി ലുക്ക് ഇറ്റ് ഇൻ ടു ദാറ്റ് യെസ് നൗ ലുക്ക് ഹിയർ എ കോംപ്രിഹെൻഷൻ ചെക്ക് ഈസ് ഗിവൺ സേ വെദർ ദ ഫോളോയിങ് ആർ ട്രൂ ഓർ ഫാൾസ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് വെരി ഈസി ഇഫ് യു ഹാവ് റെഡ് ദ ചാപ്റ്റർ വൺ ഓർ ടു ടൈംസ് യു ക്യാൻ ആൻസർ ഇറ്റ് വെരി ഈസിലി Ignatius lost his wife, two children, his father-in-law and his brother-in-law in the tsunami. Is it right? Ignatius lost his wife, two children, his father-in-law and his brother-in-law in the tsunami. Isn't it right? Yes, it is true. He, then who escaped with him? Only his three children. All others he lost. Then Sanjeev made it to safety after the tsunami. After the tsunami, Sanjeev escaped. no he also died while he trying to rescue someone so he didn't made it to safety so it is false next third one magna was saved by a relief helicopter magna escaped from the tsunami but how did she escape by the helicopters no then how a giant wave yes brought her to the seashore so this one is also false fourth one alma's father realized that a tsunami was going to hit the island alma's father realized that when he saw the water receding from the seashore he knew that yes the giant waves will come yes so it is true okay he realized that a tsunami is going to come next last one her mother and aunts were washed away with the tree that they were holding on to isn't it right yes they were clinging on a coconut leaf then the wave came and it uprooted the tree and all of them here her mother and the aunts washed away yes so it is also tree so this is the first part it is enough for today the we, next parts we can take in the next classes so read this and write this comprehension check into your notebook and also the first page didn't we see about the islands nicobar and Uh, andaman islands yes that activity also you should write into notebook have a nice day thank you now look here a comprehension check is given say whether the following are true or false it is very easy if you have read the chapter one or two times you can answer it very easily ignatius lost his wife two children his father in law and his brother in law in the tsunami is it right ignatius lost his wife two children his father in law and his brother in law in the tsunami isn't it right yes it is true he, then who escaped with him only his three children all others he lost then sanjeev made it to safety after the tsunami after the tsunami sanjeev escaped no he also died while he 
trying to rescue someone so he didn't made it to safety so it is false next third one magna was saved by a relief helicopter magna escaped from the tsunami but how did she escape by the helicopters no then how a giant wave yes brought her to the seashore so this one is also false fourth one alma's father realized that a tsunami was going to hit the island alma's father realized that when he saw the water receding from the seashore he knew that yes the giant waves will come yes so it is true okay he realized that a tsunami is going to come next last one her mother and aunts were washed away with the tree that they were holding on to isn't it right yes they were clinging on a coconut leaf then the wave came and it uprooted the tree and all of them her, her mother and the aunts washed away yes so it is also tree. so this is the first part it is enough for today the we, next parts we can take in the next classes so read this and write this comprehension check into your notebook and also the first page didn't we see about the islands nicobar and uh, andaman islands yes that activity also you should write into notebook have a nice day thank you